What you guys got another video here for you now what do you do after Windows 7 support ends now Windows 7 support ends officially on January the 14th 2020 and you may get this uh, message popping up when you're booting up which says sorry to interrupt you but this is important your PC is running an outdated version of Windows 7 you are no longer receiving Windows updates and security fixes that can protect your PC from harmful viruses, spyware and other malware and malicious software. Microsoft recommends upgrading to Windows 10. Now this is going to be a nag box that's going to pop up. They recommended you upgrade your system straight away to obviously Windows 7 Service Pack 1 and all the latest updates for Windows 7 because on January the 14th they will cease to uh, supply those updates. Now, Microsoft have said that as about 36% of people still use Windows 7 or businesses still using Windows 7, and they have offered an extended update system, which is going to cost a lot of money for Windows 7 uh, users that are running business. Now, what about home users? Well, home users are in a, a really tricky spot because their hardware might be so old that it ain't worth upgrading to Windows 10. So you need to make sure that the hardware that you are using is capable of running Windows 10. Most of the time they are, but you may have the odd issue with drivers and stuff like that. So you have to work that out. And there is a thing that you can check to make sure Windows 7 is upgradable uh, to that. Now you can also ignore the deadline altogether and ignore all the pop-up warnings from Microsoft because they said they're going to give you a few annoying pop-ups just to let you know that it is coming to an end and it will cease to update after that period. So what does that mean? Well, that means basically your system is going to be outdated. That means within a year after that date, it's going to be a year without any sort of updates. And already they've started winding this down. You're not going to see this option where you're going to be able to update Windows 7, and that's going to leave you vulnerable like ransomware, malware, and other types of uh, malicious software that gets installed. Now, of course, with um, the updates not working, that means every part of the software on that operating system is not going to be upgraded or updated anymore because uh, developers are not going to push out any updates because obviously Microsoft have stopped. So it just makes no sense to continue with updates when the operating system has ceased to support from Microsoft. So you're in a bit of a dilemma. Now, as a business, obviously, they will have to eventually roll out uh, because obviously they'll only have three years of extended support. And then after that, it will then stop. So they're obviously going to have to start rolling out. So what is your options? Well, you could continue to use it. As I've said, it won't be advisable and uh, all the uh, software and browsers and all that sort of stuff is going to start being outdated. And of course, that leaves you vulnerable as well. So it's not just the operating system. It's the software that you're downloading in installed in that's probably not been updated or patched either and you can get hit by ransomware and other stuff like that the other option is to buy a copy of windows 10 you can go and buy that from microsoft themselves it's around about 140 dollars from microsoft or you can use one of those gray market resellers to get a key from those and uh, use one of those now the other thing you can do which is the other option which is basically upgrading for free uh, using the loophole system which still exists and the reason why it still exists is because Microsoft haven't turned off their upgrading servers so it allows you to upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10 for free and I've made a video showing you how to do that which I'll leave in the video description now as long as your laptop or your desktop is uh, good enough to run Windows 10 with the hardware requirements now I know Microsoft are been pretty lean with those hardware requirements but to be honest you do need over four gigabytes of RAM to make it run smoothly otherwise it runs really really slow so check out all your specs to make sure it runs perfectly fine before you go ahead and try to upgrade to Windows 10 for free using their free method now there is an article written by Ed Bott which basically states that they haven't turned off the upgrade servers, but that could end anytime soon or even before the January 14 deadline or after that. And then once they turn them off, you will have to buy a key to get that activated. There'll be no more uh, free upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10. So what other options have you got if you don't want to do that? Well, if your laptop or your desktop is that old, 
then it's obvious you're going to have to either buy a brand new PC which comes pre-installed with Windows 10 or you can then go ahead and download something like Linux and install Linux on an older system which will run perfectly fine. There's a many different flavors of Linux you can choose and it should work perfectly fine on that old piece of hardware that you've got. So how old are we talking? Well, if you've got a system that was uh, XP and uh, you've now run that and updated to Windows 7, well, upgrading and pushing that piece of hardware to Windows 10 is a bit of a push and a bit of a stretch for that hardware. I would advise you to go ahead and try uh, Linux on there or something like that, and hopefully that works out okay for you. But if you've got, uh, say for instance, a, a system that was built for Windows 7, and you want to now roll out an update to say Windows 8 or 8.1 or Windows 10, then by all means, give it a shot. Now there is other distros out there which you can use and this is Manjaro, a nice piece of uh, software which you can install for free and it should run on that old hardware no problem whatsoever. Yes it's going to be a steep learning curve but they are your options available uh, for what to do after Windows 7 support ends. You can basically ignore it which I wouldn't advise you to do and continue to use Windows 7, buy a copy of Windows 10 and install it or you can you try and use the free upgrade loophole in the system, or you can go ahead and buy a brand new computer, or you can try a, an operating system like uh, Linux and give that a go. That's five options available to you, and that's pretty much it. That's all you can do. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. I hope this one's been useful and helpful to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you need any advice, you can always pop on our Discord server. It's free to join, and you'll find me over there, and we can have a chat about stuff. And I shall see you again for another video tomorrow. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.